All right, welcome to the first and likely the most important video you're going to watch if you plan on running a successful business of any kind in this stage. Okay, now there are three very specific rules that you want to follow that if you don't follow, you will likely just end up a person who goes from course to course, company to company, they buy all sorts of stuff online and they eventually end up just failing. They eventually just leave because they tried a bunch of different things and they didn't work. These three things define whether or not you will be successful in your business. Okay, so let's look at them very quickly. We're going to break them down and then we're going to make sure that the business model we pursue actually follows these three different rules. So first of all, you have to be profitable quickly. This is so obvious, so simple, and people get this wrong all the time. Vast majority of the people will try a business they will start a business and they will quickly lose sight of being successful because they'll be sold onto additional things constantly. So there are a few different things that contribute to your costs that prevent you from being profitable and we're gonna address those. So the business model we're gonna pursue, we're not going to have almost any of the costs that everybody else has, so we will be profitable very, very quickly. The second thing that people mess up all the time is that they cannot break down their business to one single repetitive action that will make them earnings whenever things get tough, okay? What ends up happening is that you get lost in all sorts of different things and you're like, oh, should I be building another blog? Should I be running some ads? Should I be doing this? Should I be doing that? And you don't have a clear idea. What is the one simple thing that you can do over and over that will work for you across different industries to make you money? And finally, most people never get to the point where they develop a source of leverage. That means everybody out there who runs a business has to develop a point of leverage, otherwise they will not be able to scale. What that means is if all of your income and all of your results are driven entirely by your own effort and entirely by your own results, you cannot be successful in the long run. And even if you are, you've essentially decided to just take on a new job. Okay, the whole idea behind this, the whole idea uh, about a business and why it's so different from a job is that you can actually leverage other companies, other industries, other people and their effort and their infrastructure to actually make a lot more. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this business model. Okay, so let's break down these specific things very, very quickly. So let's first look at what contributes to you not being profitable. So why are you not profitable quickly? Okay, so the first and most important thing is the upfront costs that most businesses involve. You have inventory costs, you have technology costs, you have customer support costs. So let's look at inventory costs. This includes building products, sourcing products, buying inventory, stocking inventory, warehousing, fulfillment. If you're trying to run an Amazon business, eBay business, any kind of e-commerce business today, you will have these costs and you want to eliminate them if you can. And the business model we will use, we will have none of these costs at all. Second set of costs is the technology cost, okay? The technology cost includes things like sites, any stores that you might be running, your shopping cart systems like Shopify and so on, any fees that you're incurring in the process, any developers that you might need to pay, all sorts of stuff. We're gonna get rid of all of these costs as well, okay? We're gonna replace everything with one simple thing. And finally, you have customer support, which is the time you're gonna put in or people you're gonna have to hire to actually support your customers. Okay, no matter if it's a digital product or a physical product you're selling, you will have some level of customer support. You wanna minimize that if possible, okay? There's a second set of costs. That's called the startup scale-up. Okay, now these are costs that you usually have in the beginning of a business, but you also have as the business grows. So advertising costs or customer acquisition costs. These are going to be things that you will end up spending money on because you have to, because you need to make sure that your business is growing. And that's what we will focus on. We will shift these costs from the beginning towards a later stage. That means we will not spend any money in the beginning. We will spend our money once we have already started growing the business. Once we're already profitable, that's when we will actually start spending this money and that's gonna help us grow our business, okay? Next, let's, let's look at why people fail to break down their business into a single repetitive action, okay? 
why is there not a single simple action that you can repeat to generate an income okay if you cannot answer this question if you cannot figure it out if you cannot simplify your business down to this you're not going to succeed long term now your ultimate aim is really to build a giant list for example get to the stage that you can make money when you send out an email that's a single example right that's a single event that you could do over and over maybe you develop a big social media following that way you can just post a message and you can make money when you're ready those are examples of things that you should be able to do that you can kind of define your entire business as if i do this one thing i'm going to make money now what prevents people from doing that is that there are constant changes in all sorts of industries right and that gets them lost and there are constant changes in methods of marketing and how audience interact with you and that also changes things we're going to break all these problems down for you and we're going to actually eliminate these in this new business model as well we will focus on one simple action that we will do over and over and every single time we do it we are going to generate money okay very very simple if we can get it right but extremely powerful very effective and honestly the most important thing that you can do for your business and the final thing we're going to do is leverage okay how do we build our leverage and how do we scale our business quickly there's two problems with doing things just the standard way and not having any leverage built in one you're going to have diminishing returns over time okay the problem with diminishing returns is that you're going to keep working as hard as you were in the beginning but over time your results are weaker so you start running a let's say an ad campaign you start getting good traction but that campaign over time starts doing not so well that's an example of diminishing returns you don't want to be tied down to this you want to have a business where you can literally go on a vacation where you can literally just walk away not be on your computer not be on your phone for three months and you still have an income coming in that's the goal that we're aiming for okay now that doesn't happen overnight it takes some time to get to that stage but you have to develop your business in a way that it does that okay so that's exactly what we are going to develop now we will be developing a business that hits all of these points we are going to be profitable very very quickly in fact quicker than anything you have seen so far and we are going to eliminate a whole bunch of costs okay second we are going to break down the entire business model to one simple action and you will just repeat that one action over and over across multiple industries and third we are going to build a massive leverage for ourselves in this business so over time we can actually draw most of our income not from our own direct efforts but from the business that we have built okay so as we go through the next two videos three videos you really need to keep this in mind that this is what we are doing and we're going to come back to these points at each of these different stages as we go through the process of setting up our business to make sure you never ever stray from this okay so i hope this sets you off on the right foot and i'll see you in the next video